down in the basement. You don't have to worry about the storms of life coming to knock you down. We about to go down, not up. Let's go! I need all my basement dwellers to report downstairs. It's safer in the basement. God brings the high places low. Don't go up. Come down. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? You are back in the basement with Tim Ross, and uh, we back like we never left, all right? We finished and wrapped up season one, uh, and we're back uh, with season two. I got to give a shout out to Tome. Tome is our sponsor, got us out here living life to the fullest. If you haven't downloaded the app, if you want to grow in your relationship with God and go through a process where you understand the Bible more, then Tome is for you. I got content out there uh, as well as some other incredible people that are mad smarter than me. They got content out there too. Download the app today and get up in there. Bro, we are back. Listen, we ended the season with a bang. We're starting it with a boom. Um, was, I was got... That, was that an explosion? I think... I. We need we need some after effects. <laughs> yeah, we need like the Team. yeah we need like the ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to season two. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't oh. where it came yet. Oh my! Ladies bad. and gentlemen, welcome to season two of the basement. <laughs> oh, there it is. Booyaka, booyaka. Did somebody just get shot in your <laughs> in the basement? In the basement, in the, and they have nowhere to go. That Compton, LA came out of you so quick. That I didn't know where else to go. I felt like an explosion, and then I felt like it was like fireworks, and then it just got and gang- then it got gangster. And then real the hammer quick. started clapping. Like that's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? So we are officially back listen, in the basement. We are back in the basement. I got Pastor Mike Todd back in the basement. Yes, sir. To I'm start excited, off season bro. two, listen, we ended season one with some amazing stuff. We've had our break, and now we're back. Do I have on the same outfit? Yes, I do. Why? I'm a minimalist, and I wear the same thing all the time. Tim wears the same thing all the time. I do change my drawers. And his shoes. And my shoes. I will give him that, but I've seen his closet. Yeah. And it is the same thing in different colors. Yeah, it's white. Over and, and black. Over. Yeah. I've been trying to buy him new clothes. I just buy him white t-shirts now. That's and it. <laughs> that's all you can get me because that's what, I mean, it goes with everything. I don't have to get up in the morning and wonder what I'm going to wear. I'm a minimalist and maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do an episode on minimalism one day, but this ain't the day. <laughs> Yo, um, so... Uh, I'm so glad you're back. and What an honor and a privilege to be with you, my friend, my mentor, oversight pastor, uh, rapping buddy. Hey. Uh, so the thing that people don't know about you is that you are a musical uh, rapping beast. Like, And one of the things that we connect with um, or connect in is, is sharing music with each other. For sure. Oh, yes. Like, yes. I can't tell you how many times we have been in a car yep. in a random parking lot. Yep. Bumping. bumping. Like, yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> All kinds of yeah, stuff. It's I true. Mean, it's just eclectic yeah. from yeah. old Jay Z yep. to like music with no words yeah. to the whole You're thing. You're the one that put me on the V Rose. Yes. I love you so much. I love V Rose. She's I the love best. You so much. Like, dude, like, like, I mean, and and not only other people's music, but our own. That is probably the thing we need to figure out if we can get in somewhere in season uh, a one opener. You need to oh. get a verse from Tim Ross. You should play. Uh, I don't want to put too much out there, but you you got to play him something. I, I, you know what? I I you know what? I've been so y'all don't understand. This man is like. J. Cole mixed with Jay-Z mixed with Lil Wayne mixed with like a old theologian mixed <laughs> with like G.E. Patterson. G.E. Patterson. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. it's like, if you hear this dude spit, what's the one you did for me? You, you, you uh spit over uh uh um 
Kendrick Lamar's Be Humble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said, mm-hmm. what? He just texted mm-hmm. to me, and mm-hmm. it was like, this is not fair. I know this is not what we're supposed to be no, talking no, about. No, no, dude. Two I, I, of the basement, but. Well, we, I, th- I just think we, we are both creative beings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that expression uh, has to come out somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, you produced music that went up the charts on iTunes. Man. Right? Like, didn't you get some kind of plaque? Or yeah, like it's, they, it's ridiculous. Was basically, it 500? What, what was just it? Just basically, long story short, God asked me to give up music to get another weapon of ministry for a season. Right. I thought it was over. thought I wasn't doing music anymore. Two years ago, God was like, all right, you can do music again. Yeah, I was like, pick it uh, back up. Like, what are you talking about? And yeah. he gave me this huge revelation about how David never lost any of his tools. He just had to know when to use them. And so David starts off with a shepherd's staff. And then David gets a, a, a actual, he becomes the first Uber Eats. And he's obedient to his dad and goes to the field. And he has a guitar. And he's tormenting Saul's demons. And then he gets a slingshot and a rock. And then he gets a sword. And then he gets a crown. Those were all different tools. But one of the things that you he had to know is when to use those tools. What and a lot of times in right church, now? and especially people who are gifted with multiple um, um, giftings, they feel like to be efficient at one, they have to kill the other. And that's, right. that's not what God's asking you to do. He no. doesn't want anything to be wasted. No. What he's asking you is to have the discernment and the obedience to know when to use them. And a lot of people are bringing swords to a slingshot fight. Mm. And some people are bringing shepherd staffs when they should have their guitar. Mm. And, and so one of the things that we have to do is know when to use those gifts. So I'm seven years into pastoring and people know me for doing this and god's yeah. like yeah go make a r- record about your wife yeah and and call it relationship goals yeah. and and make a, a whole thing and so i'm sitting here like using my resources my money is like are people gonna even like this god said i didn't ask you if they were gonna like it i, I asked that you to part. obey me that like, part and so i paid for a music video did all this other stuff as the pastor of a growing church like yeah. and i want you to think about that like yeah, did yeah, your yeah. pastor just put out a music yeah, video yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah. of like <laughs> like but I, I decided that i was gonna die empty miles monroe says that the richest place is the graveyard that's right because it's the place where ideas and songs and poetry and cures are there and people because of fear or fear yep. of failure yep. they never do what god placed on the inside of you and i just said i'm gonna die empty so long story short, I put out this song called Relationship Goals, and it went number nine on the Billboard R&B chart. That's what it was. It's like not even Christian. <laughs> like it went like number nine, 10 oh or nine on the R- R&B gosh, chart. Bro. And it's the first song I put out in ever yeah, to sure. anybody else's knowledge. And and so, yeah, it's just one of those things. Like, and the crazy thing is, I got a whole record. Like, I only put out three songs, but you, you, you already know. Like, so I think I might put it out sometime soon. And just no, you have to. But that's what people don't know about you is what you did before. Yeah, God called you to preach. You were a music producer. Like, you turned down six figures. Yeah. to become a youth pastor. Yeah, like you were on your way to <laughs> and New that York. Show wasn't six figures. That was like three figures. <laughs> <laughs> that youth pastor assignment was that not is a comparable. Right? That was, not but it was obedience. It was obedience. And no, what it was is success. See, what people don't don't understand is that that's good. Success is not a figure. Success is not fame. Success is not fortune. Success is obedience. That's right. And and I think that's one of the things that's lost today is like people only think things that are big are successful. Right. And that's not true. Um, what I've what I've told people about metrics is when you have, you know, because everything's about metrics, how many likes, how much money, how much um, uh, return on investment, all these different things. Yeah. And I said, metrics are fine because some yeah. people are like, I need to know the data. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me exactly what's happening. And I'm like, metrics are fine, yeah. but, but, but metrics do not measure value. Yeah. Metrics measure volume, not value. I I I do the this is okay. I I so, so let's talk about this, right? Let's go. Be, be, because um uh in this realm of success, especially with all the metrics that are out there, I want to give a comparative analysis, okay. right? Just to show 
why you can put very little into metrics yeah when you're talking about being obedient to what god called you to do let's talk okay so um i did a I did a uh sermon series at uh embassy city called um uh upset the vows it was a nine-week series week eight of that series i did a message on sexuality okay to date ten thousand people have watched that message and been impacted by it, okay? Yep. That message was called Help I'm Horny at Transformation Church. Same message. The same exact message. Over 550,000 people. Yes, sir. Have seen it. So far. So far. Okay. When was it successful? The moment you obeyed God to write it down. That's... What I'm talking about, right? Yes, sir. And so, whether only a hundred people heard it, two people, two people heard it, or two million, or two million people on, hear man. it, the success is that I obeyed God. Yes, sir. Not the people's response. Come on, man. To my obedience. Come on, man. And I think that's where so many people miss it. Like there are some people that are out there making incredible content right now and they're sick because only 260 people yeah. liked it, saw it, bought it. Yeah. And it's like, if you can't find success and fulfillment in just doing the thing, yeah. you're not doing this the right way. And at the end of the and day. And for the right reason. Well, at the end of the day, it will have control over you. That's right. So, so if you're going to those things and those places and those people and those likes and all those different things to get the validation of what you're doing, then when they don't like it, they will become a place and a space of control. Right. And um, that's why I'm grateful. Like if anybody goes back, like my first post from 2014 is still up on Instagram. <laughs> like so so when people be like Mike Todd is extra I've been extra right. like this is like this ain't this ain't cuz I got no platform right bro I was going to be wearing J's and an orange shirt and whatever I got on right now I would be wearing that if if I was a UPS worker bro you were extra when I met you I was in an all white suit <laughs> with matching every like it's you, just you were me. ready for Diddy's I was, all white party bro that's how <laughs> with all no white invite you, right, with no invite just showing up like I got the right <laughs> attire I just don't have the invitation <laughs> like no but but I I, I feel like I, I feel like people, and this is the basement. The basement. I, I, at some point, I'm going to stop making that disclaimer because yeah. obviously it's called the basement. We're in the basement. Because we night. live hot in the basement. But but we, but we I got it. This is as much a reminder for me as it is for everybody else. And so we in the basement. I have seen people try to be you <laughs> who are not you. And it just looks awkward. Like I'm uncomfortable when I see a knockoff Mike Todd. Because I'm like, there's nothing extra about you. But as soon as your, I guess, social media team said three, two, one, you tried to manufacture Mike Todd extraness and it looks horrible on you. Well, the truth of the matter is us being anybody other than ourselves is so exhausting. It's, it's and, a counterfeit. And, and and everybody can feel it even if they don't know it. That's exactly right. Like so, That's why I feel uncomfortable because I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know you, but this don't look right on but you. But the truth of the matter is your anointing is on authenticity. The only reason, and I keep going back to David, but the only reason that David defeats Goliath is because yeah. he chose to deny Saul's armor. That is correct. I promise you if he would have put on that Gucci breastplate <laughs> i'm weak and and i mean it was the best in the <laughs> land if he would have took that 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 a uh, sword made by the greatest manufacturer and he would have just tried to go out there number one it would have changed the way he walked right 
it would have been exhausting because right. he wasn't built to carry it. That's it right. wasn't made for his frame. Nope. And he would have been trying to yield, uh, wield it like the king right. instead of doing it the authentic way. A slingshot and five move stones i think about that all the time because that was an authentic way of fighting that's right for dave for him that's right he's sitting there watch this we don't think about this he's sitting there he denied the king's armor and his weapon but he's sitting there with the entire nation's army behind him right looking at how he's about to defeat what they're too scared to even go up against. that's exactly right and his ability to be authentic in a moment of adversity is the reason why he wins the victory. Yes, sir. And I'm just encouraging people right now, the way you do things, your courts, your kinks, all of that stuff was designed by a master creator. Yep. And when you double down on who God and how God made you, you will step into a level of anointing that number one is not exhausting. Right, it, it, you're it, not tired. You're not tired. I don't show up into any room other than myself. Yep. So, so you already know yep. God has a blessed us to be able to 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 um, acquire some really major properties for a church. I show up into them boardrooms as Mike Todd. Yes. I don't turn into Alexander Michael Alexander Todd. And I don't, <laughs> I'll be like, what up? Yeah, like, absolutely. We about Hugging to buy this we, building. Yep, we about to hug everybody. What's your name? Yep. Chad. Nice yep. to meet yep. you, dog. Absolutely. Love your tie. Yep. How much that pin costs? Yep. That look like an expense. Like yep. I be my I'm myself. Yeah, for sure. And it's somehow that authenticity yep. can get through every denomination, culture, yep. color, creed. It, it literally, authenticity has the ability to even allow you when you don't agree to penetrate different people's ideologies That's and right. um, um, preferences. Yeah. Yes. Like, like, like when you yourself, you can appreciate something that ain't even your style. That's right. That's exactly right. Well, I mean, think about the collabos that country artists and rappers have done now dude okay thank you holy spirit the, the fact that the holy spirit can 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 literally bring a secular reference back to me Go. is the dopest thing in the whole world <laughs> aerosmith yep and run, and DMC. run dmc well that's why was one of the most iconic collabs ever ever not because Aerosmith did a rap record. Or. And not because Run DMC did a rock record. Because they decided to authentically be themselves. On, and stand side by side and produce a sound and a, a vibe that no one had experienced up until that point. And this is the thing that I believe is why our relationship is so cool. It's because talk about the secret sauce. It, it, talk about the yin yang. So 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 talk so, about the peanut butter jelly. <laughs> so one of the <laughs> things about me and Pastor Tim Ross is we are completely the different, but we just fit together. Yes, right. Like his preaching style, if you've ever watched it, is very. Com I don't think I've ever seen Tim sweat. Like I don't ever like. He's gonna come up. He's gonna say hi. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> And he's going to make some joke and he's going to get right into the Bible and he's going to go into things and it's going to be done in 37 minutes, <laughs> like point blank period. And he's going home <laughs> to, to, to uh, be with his wife and kids. That's like, right. And I'm the exact. I come up and say hello, and I'm pouring sweat <laughs> already. Already, the turn up is the already on is eleven. Already started when I came in. Yep, I, I'm 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 wearing some bright color in the color box. I'm yep. wearing pink, orange, yep. Yep. fuchsia, doing something. <laughs> Tim is wearing the same black pants and white shirt with a different jacket. I'm I'm like I'm gonna preach for an hour and a half minimum no i'm just Min playing but like <laughs> but like i'm going I'm, <laughs> my security said he ain't playing like I'm, uh, 90 but, minutes but like, minimum but and and i could go through so many different things that were different extrovert introvert completely yep. i walk into a room i'm gonna meet everybody i must talk to everybody it gives me energy yep tim after he does that because he's gracious to do with somebody he needs a hotel at I the do. four seasons I do. And I do. it needs to be gone i do and like but at the end of the day um i think the thing that has been so life-giving in our relationship is we have fully committed to be on our authentic self mm -hmm. which allows there to be an appreciation yep. 
for how God uniquely wired us. Yep. And so when we come together, we don't compete, we complete. That's exactly right, bro. We, we've never been like, oh, you should do that. It's like, no. Like, even for this podcast, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this, but like when, when you decided that you was going to take the step of faith to do this, yep. you called me. Yes, I did. I did. Absolutely. That's correct. And and Tim, if you don't know, Tim is liable to go off social media any day. Like <laughs> one day he'll be on social media, next day he'll be like, I'm shaving my head bald. I'm never gonna be on social media again until the Lord speaks to me and forget eyebrows. The eyebrows is done in America. Like I'm taking my eyebrows off. Like Tim is like that guy. He is anti. Oh and then God. if the Holy Spirit speaks to him, be like, Yeah, bro, I have 50 million followers. Now I'm coming back starting from zero. He didn't even keep the account. He just started over again oh it's like gosh. god dog and so he knows that god has anointed me to be able to get messages across on social media yep. and because we're not competing yep. he called me that's right and first off we celebrated yeah we talked and then we just start going through ideas like mike what would you do da, 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 da. like can i back up go. though i wanted your opinion yeah and ask for it i wanted to know if you even thought it was a good idea yep. 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 that i do this yeah so I submitted. That's crazy. To you in that area, as I've submitted to you in Tons many other yeah, areas, yeah. like, like I, I wanted to because I respect your create creative genius, your process, and the 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 anointing on my authenticity, the anointing on your authenticity, and how that translates to social media. I like. I wanted to know, like, am I gonna be like the old dude that? Nope, like that absolutely is not. playing himself into thinking that people want to hear him. And I asked you yeah, that. Like you I did. want and, and and if you would have said, Yeah, bro, you should pass on that. Yeah. I wouldn't have done this podcast. Like But so 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 think about the completion. And and I'm, the reason I'm saying this is because many of us are looking for people that validate what we do well already and are the same. Mm -hmm. And we're missing the thing that would actually take us to the next level of greatness. It may not come in the same package that you would prefer. Right. But what it does is give you what you don't have. Correct. Our perspectives differ and the conversations are so valuable and life changing. I mean, going into places before I go speak somewhere, you, I'll be like, hey, you ever been there? I'm like, yeah, this is what you need to da 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 da. Yes. And then you'll be like, hey, this is this is what you need to do in your marriage. Right, and right. You, you, what, you're about year <laughs> seven? Yeah, don't do that. Right, like, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, it's a completion. And, and I'm, I'm just grateful that, that even as we're here on the basement talking about everything, yep. humble, open, and transparent, yep. um, that, that, People need to actually be looking for the character of people more than um, what package they are. They think they connect with. Yep. Yes. Because if if you if you actually get the character or the content of the people that's on the inside of them, it don't matter what they it don't matter what they look like. We've never been shopping together. No. But we don't ever have to. No. Because that's not where the value exactly. is in our relationship. Exactly. Exactly. No, dude. You you saying that like. Um, ooh, it, that thing gets me stirred up because uh, I feel like I have a lot to give mm. to, to people that want to grow in their faith in God, yep. but also with a biblical worldview and like a perspective that I think would help. Yeah. And I have had people that have been interested in being mentored by me, but do not like my package. Yikes. Yikes. And so they want to go around me to you. Oh, that's the wrong one. Or to, I can name a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah, other yeah, people yeah, yeah. that have a more attractive kind of like. Package. Package, right? And they. Well, what the world thinks is an attractive right, package. Right, right. Attractive package. And I'm literally sitting there like, man, I can really help you. But but I can't I, I I can't go around your desire. Yeah. Like like you you are literally cutting off gold. Yep. Because you don't like the fact that I'm boring. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> dude, I'm so basic. Like I'm the most basic person ever. 
if you come to my house, we're not getting into nothing. No. Like, you're not no. about to, like, come <laughs> no, over and, I, like, I, oh, I, my God, it was popping off. Then we went here. No, then we went there. You never. come to my house. You're sitting you on will, the couch. You're literally going to sit on the couch. And we're going to talk. We're going to watch. We're going to talk till we can't talk no more. Yep. Then I'm going to turn on uh, Undisputed with Skip and Shannon. <laughs> and when that goes off, I'm turning on PTI yep. with Mike Wilbon and yep. Tony, Tony Kornheiser. And when that goes off, I'm turning on Family Feud. And when that goes off, I'm turning on Wheel of Fortune. Yes, sir. I'm 47 and, and I'm basic. And then he's going to sleep and waking up the next morning and he's eating eggs, tomatoes, and avocados. That's exactly what I'm eating. This is how predictable I am. I'm one of the most predictable people on the planet. I do the same thing. My admin is right over here. Juliet and 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 Eunice Silverberg can make three phone calls and find me. That's how predictable I am. He's either at work, at home, or en route to one of those two places. Yes. <laughs> Unless he stopped to get an acai bowl. <laughs> Nobody has to come look for me. Yeah. This is what makes me good at discipleship mm. and mentorship. I have margin and bandwidth yep. because I make the time to be able to pour in. But these people want like something. They, they want something to like click, click. They they want to they want to experience and something to Instagram. But the truth of the matter is, what you have is integrity. You can't Instagram integrity. Mm. What you have is faithfulness. You can't Facebook faithfulness. What, what what you have is trust. You can't tweet trust. So so the truth of the matter is, the intangibles that people actually need will never be noticed by the masses. Mm. They will be experienced in fruit in your life. Bro, you said, a, dude, that word is ringing in my ear so loud. I don't know if I've ever had the word intangible light me up like it's lighting me up right now. I can find and discern the intangibles. Yep. Yep. This is what makes, I, I think this is what Jesus was able to do. Wow. Wow. He, he he saw Peter's anger and that short fuse. Flip that. But he saw the intangibles. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that this dude is faithful. Yeah. Like this dude, I can That's use so that. I, I know he's going to deny me for a minute, but also he'll be devoted to me for yeah, a yeah, lifetime. Yeah, 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 We We got we to gotta dance around the intangibles. The intangibles. Ooh, that's nasty. So, so um, intangibles are... Uh, I don't think everybody picks up on the intangibles. No, definitely not. I think people people are so drawn to gifts that they can't discern the intangibility Yikes. behind uh -oh. those gifts. Y'all tapping into the next level of Tim Ross on the basement. This is his superpower. Hey, Start li talking. Listen, bro. When we met, it would be it. You would have to be blind not to see your giftings. Mm. But I picked up on your intangibility yep. in our phone calls. Yep. When I said, come to the house, and you did it, that let me know. <laughs> wow. This is actually something I can work with. I can't tell you how many gifted people I've worked with yeah. that didn't have the intangibility to produce the relationship that we have. Yeah. They, they, they're not submitted. They... they they don't know how to follow. Mm. They they they're they're for the show and not for the grow the grow. So so, so 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 most people don't think like you got to go back and watch the last episode of the last season because yep. you start to get context, to get context for sure of me and Tim's relationship because somebody's watching this and they're like who are these people and why they act like they've been together know each other and all this other stuff we've basically been on a discipleship journey for over 10 years now yep. and um, Tim basically invested in me when nobody was around and it's grown and gotten better in our communication relationship every every every, every area yeah every and area. i am who i am today the husband the father the leader because of my connection mentorship and submission 
to this man that I'm talking to right now. And people think submission is a negative word. Right. But it really means what the two words are. It's like sub sub (laughs) to the mission. That's right. The mission for me is to get people to Jesus. Yep. Love my wife. Yep. Keep my integrity. Yes. Be a great father. That's it. Like, like help as many people as I can on this side of earth. Get to have like, there's a mission. Yes. But if I'm going to reach that, I have to become sub to something. That's right. That is thinking about the mission. Yes. And I said, get under this. That's right. And, and so thinking about the mission and thinking about you. And that is the key to this whole thing. Yep. And so most people ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. I'm grown. I'm da da da. It's like, hold on, bro. Like Tom Brady has a coach. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? LeBron James has, a, like, he's a billion-dollar athlete, That's but he right. has people that tell him what to eat. That's right. What That's to exactly wear. That's exactly right. To, like, what are you talking about? Yes, sir. And so we've, the enemy has distorted this thing of submission to authority as a negative thing or a weak thing, but it also, it, it really is a thing of meekness. That's right. It's strength under control. That's exactly right. Like, like when you start to submit yourself to people and 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 processes to make you better it changes you forever and right. when we interacted it doesn't just it doesn't just change you it protects you that's exactly uh, right all right let me tell a story i haven't told as many stories as i did on the last one so it's story time <laughs> with mike todd on the basement um when i became a, a pastor of the church because you have been walking with me through youth ministry and different things i was in the process of getting a new car Right. And, you know, the youth pastor salary had really, really <laughs> kept me in like a minivan, like as <laughs> as <laughs> as I was coming up in the, the ranks. And then I had been pastoring for a little bit uh-huh. and God had changed our financial situation. It's like, I'm gonna get a nice car. Like mm-hmm. I always like nice cars or something. And so I told him, like just submitting it to him. Yep. I was we in a talking on the phone in a yep. conversation. Yep. I was like, yo, bro, I'm about to get a new car. He's like, what you think about getting? I was like, I don't know, Mercedes, BMW, Land Rover. He's like, yeah. Oh, um, have you thought about a Honda or a, a, a Toyota or, a, you know, even a Chevy? I was like, heck no. I don't want one of them cars, bro. And, it, and, and I thought the only reason was for fiscal purposes. Like, like, can you afford it? I don't want no financial strain. I was like, no, yeah. I'm good, man. My, I did the Dave Ramsey thing, my business is in order. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we good. Right. And he was like, no, um, I, I really want to just, and he would say this, I want to submit this to you. Mm-hmm. He says that to me to I've this I've never day. told you what You've to do. You've never told me one thing, time what to do. You, nope. you say, I just, I want to submit this to you. I, I want you to pray about this, think about this, talk to Nat about this. Mm-hmm. And he was like, there are people that have been working in your church for 15 to 20 years and they drive a 1991 uh, Honda Accord. And you're coming in as a brand new pastor, young, you're trying to gain their trust. He said, I have one question for you. Do you want people to hear you or see you? Because if you come in with the latest year, Big body Mercedes Benz. He said they're going to see you, but it's going to change the way they hear you. And that night, I was mad when I hung up the phone, first (laughs) off, because I had screensavers of my car. I was picking out interior colors. I had already figured out the how to set the radio dials in the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was mad. But that night, I became sub to the mission. Right. And I started looking for cars that were not luxury cars Mm -hmm. and i ended up buying a chevy impala that's what it was and to this day it was one of the best cars i ever had it was dope too it was really nice it was really nice but it i believe part of the blessing of that car was because i was submitted to authority yeah for sure and i just i just want to beg my generation like would you please like ask God to send you people that care about you first. Right. Not your gifting, not your not what you can add to their thing, not 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 more of uh what culture is giving you, but send you somebody that you can be submitted to. That's good, man. Whether it's a pastor at your church, a counselor, a family member, yeah. somebody that's worked in a different, God will use anybody yeah. if you're open to that type of access. Yeah, man. And 
I just, I just have seen the benefit and the fruit of being submitted to authority. Like the success that people see is connected to that. That fruit is connected to the root of being submitted. Listen, the secret sauce of success is submission. That's nasty. All of Jesus's success could be found in him submitting to his father. Yikes. Everything you saw him do is a direct result of what his father told him to do. Yikes. I only do what the father tells me to do. I only go where the father tells me to go. I only say what the father tells Come me on, to man. say. So literally his the, the life that we find grandiose and he did all these miracles and and he was so powerful. He was literally repeating what his dad said. Mm. He was literally doing what his dad told him to do. He was literally, go, oh, I can't believe Jesus wound up over here. His dad told him to go there. I'm, he must needs go through Samaria? His daddy said go to Samaria. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it was submission that brought that success. So I want to I wanna talk about this part of it because fr from, from a from a disciple discipler side from a mentor side because i see too many dis disciplers and mentors that try to take credit uh, for the success yikes. of their mentees of their people that they've trained or raised up or whatever i put them on i put them on right like like if it wasn't for me you wouldn't even have this I was very, very careful to articulate to you as God continued to give you influence. It is not lost on me that I didn't put any of the gifts God put in you. I didn't put those there. Mm. I didn't teach you how to preach. Like I didn't sit you down like, now Mike, the way you put a sermon <laughs> together, right? But like God gave you this gift to be able to take stories from the Bible and theological concepts and bring life to them in a way that a whole gen, that not a generation, generations could adopt, right? I didn't teach you that. Um, I didn't give you your musical gifting. I didn't give you your creative genius. Like God gave all that to you. I, I, I can't take credit for that success. What, what, what I get to stand and celebrate are the private conversations that we've had where I submitted something to you. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I submit you should do this. And because you chose to take heed to that advice and submit to that, because submission isn't submission until it feels like it. Mm. Most of these people think think that they that they're submitted to their authority, but submission to authority is not submission to authority until it feels like I'm pissed when I got off this phone. Until you don't agree. Until you don't agree. I wanted that freaking Mercedes, and I, now I'm driving off with a Chevy Impala. Yep. Why is Tim Ross my friend? <laughs> Why the heck did I tell him that I would listen to him? Yep. I don't even want to. Yeah. And. That's when it's really submission. That's when it's real. So the so so what I get to celebrate is the the trajectory of the success yeah. because I saw a blind spot and I was like I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to save you some grief. Yeah. And now if you you grow right, if if Jesus ain't gonna bother your free will, I sure as heck can't. Right. You mm. know what I'm saying? But but because of that. Because of that trust that we have in each other, yeah, this is why this level of success yeah. that people see, yeah. So, so let me help people understand a couple of things because I know there's somebody watching or, or listening that's like, well, I've tried that before, and 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 this is what I want to say uh, to the person that's gotten hurt and the person that has gotten um, used and abused and all of those things doing that. Uh, submission has nothing to do with manipulation. Right. And a lot of times people, they, they use submission as a, a trump a card. Control, it's a control it's a mechanism. It's a control yeah. mechanism. It's, it's manipulation. It's yes. witchcraft. Yes, it is. So that, so that, oh, I'm your, I'm your leader. I'm your overseer. I'm your da-da-da. You should do this. You should da-da-da-da-da. That spirit 
is is is, is foul. Yes, and it's it is. not from God. That's exactly right. And it's a spirit of pride. Yes, it is. And the truth of the matter is God is far away from people like that mm -hmm. because he He can't mess with pride. There's a few things that God will be like, all right, I, I'm going to let you clean that up. But right, the Bible right, right. is very clear. It's like when you walk in pride, he said, I resist. Yes. Like I resist, he the, resist proud. the proud. Yes, like, he I'm, does. I'm pushing you back. Yes, he does. Like, and, and it, But he's close or, or, or to the low, lowly or the humble. Yes, right. And, and, and so... If you are in a toxic relationship with a leader, yep. you need to get out of that. Yes, you do. Because that trauma is going to produce, um, the truth of the matter is you being a, a trauma to somebody else. Yes. And the, tr the truth of what I'm seeing a lot of right now is people have had bad leadership or manipulative uh, manipulative um, situations of submission. Right. And and. And then they begin to do that to somebody else. That's I just right. want to let you know there's other ways out here yes, sir. to actually see yourself grow and be discipled. That's right. And one of the greatest ways is to be what you didn't have. Right. Because a lot good. of people want it. Yep. But my question is, who could you give it to? Right. And I believe that many times, like, I believe the direct result of you coming into my life was how I was pouring into the interns that were in my youth group. I every Saturday morning, I was up with them at their schools. I, when they found out they were pregnant with babies, I was telling them their parents. I was in intimately in yeah. people's life with no mentor. Yes. And what God sent me was was the fruit of what I've already sown. Mm. You are the fruit of what I sowed into a bunch of youth in our city. Wow. Who did not have anybody. They called me Big Brother Mike. Yeah. And, and and I would be with those young people and I would go to their games and I, I would counsel with them and I would help them throw away the drugs that they was coming. Like like and if you can be it, that's right. Many times you will receive what you actually need. Yeah, that's really good. I think bro. this I think the 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 <sighs> wow, um, principle good, of generosity still works. It does. If, if if it's not meeting a need, it's a seed. That's right. So so right now you need to sow the mentorship that you need. That's right. Oh, that's a word yeah, for that's somebody a, that's a right now. Bar. You need to yeah. sow. You need to find somebody and you need to give to them with no manipulation, yep. with no um, you know what I'm saying, when you really get on like like make sure you remember me like right. none of that. Oh, just man. be there for them and that's what the beauty of our relationship has really been is there's been a purity in motive from the very beginning from jump so money sure. didn't change it nope. platform didn't change nope. it connections success didn't, didn't change success it didn't change it. influence didn't change it it's been the same yep so then when you can have a relationship where you can fully trust that this person telling me this is not because they're trying to get something is because they really looking out for me right when that happens the fruit of that can be tremendous and so for me in my life yeah being submitted to pastor tim i mean people wouldn't even know a transformation church if there was not this i call it the the linchpin moment in december 5th of 2017 like i know dates mm. like when stuff changed for me but it was my success this is the perfect story of success being connected to submission so I come off a sabbatical. I preach a series called Relationship Goals. Yep. And <laughs> nobody watched it. Like, like, I want everybody to know Relationship <laughs> Goals did not go viral after we did it. Yo. Like, it, can we just recall? Just, right? Yeah. Just that, just that quick. But you were obedient to do it. That, I did it. That's where the success was. That's where it. it not it, when somebody found no, out. No. When I did the series. That's right. I did eight weeks of relationship goals and nobody watched it except my mom and her prayer group. <laughs> like, like there was 22 views <laughs> of relationship YouTube. goals on YouTube. Can you imagine? Bro. And Flair. so what ended up happening was we had just seen, this is my second year of pastoring fully. Mm -hmm. And we had just seen the biggest year of growth in our church. And for you, this may not have been nothing, but after people was voting on being at the church or anything, we saw 400 people Joined the church that year, yep. and we saw four hundred thousand dollars coming to the boat budget. Couldn't nobody tell me nothing. We had made it. Yeah. Like, this, like this, <laughs> we was, balling out. We are, yeah, we yeah. are at that level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and we came into a strata 
that that uh, you introduced me to this process mm-hmm. of a strategic operation of going through everything, seeing why you do what you do, what's working, what's not working. And we spent two days in a, a, a room on Brookside with our entire staff and yep. our whole staff could fit in one little room. Mm-hmm. Like this was not nothing special. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the stride out, we're celebrating everything. Tim raises his hand. And I don't know why this man, 47 years old, he just be in rooms raising his hand. <laughs> and he raised his hand up and he said, can, can I say something? And I, I was like, yeah, sure. And I think he's going to stand up and congratulate and be like, oh, man, this was the year that. And he did that, but not the way that I thought he was going to. He said, this has been amazing what God has done this year. Um, but this is not sustainable. You guys need to slow down. You need to do less. You need to cut some things back. And I looked at him like, who invited this man to this meeting? How are we going to reach what God called us to do if we slow down or cut back? or No, no, we need to move forward. We need to make it happen. We need to grind. We need to hustle. And and literally, we left day one of the strata in confusion. Like, I, at least I was in confusion because I was like, what is, what is going on? So that night, because we have real relationship, we, we can disagree. We can be able to um, wrestle with something right. together. We can push back. We can push back. Yep. I'm, I, I'm in, talking to him. I was like, what does, this doesn't even make sense. What are you telling me? Like, we don't do nothing and da, 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 da. And within hours of talking, and I want to be clear, it was hours <laughs> of us talking. Like, we found a new revelation through the word of God mm-hmm. that Jesus In three years, fulfilled every messianic prophecy ever spoken about him. He did it in three years, and you never hear about him or any of the disciples running to the next appointment. Mm -mm. They walked everywhere. Mm -hmm. And, like, we searched all through Scripture. It's like, did we ever see Jesus being like, and in haste, the disciples and Jesus dipped Mm -hmm. to their next appointment. Mm -hmm. Like, we never see that. Mm -hmm. Everywhere they went, they walked. It was a pace of grace. Yep. It was something something that could be duplicated. And I mean, if I was the son of God, I would at least had a horse or at least <laughs> invented the hover round. And I would have been the only one like on the hover round while everybody oh else was God. walking. But the only animal we ever find Jesus on is a walking animal, a donkey. Donkey. Think about it. Yep. Even when he's in Mary's womb. Yep. Like he's yep. on a donkey. He's on a donkey. He walked everywhere, which yep. lets us know that there's a pace that you can go in this thing that God has called you to go at, that you see everything that God's called you to do, but you don't miss the miracles along the way. And you walk at a pace that people can walk with you. Yes, sir. So, so let me just bring it back to submission and success. I know I'm, I'm, well, this is the basement. I'm trying to, this is, this is what we're supposed to do. Give you the uncut version of what's happening. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. Okay. So this is what (laughs) happened. This is it. So, so, so that next day, December 6th, we go back. Mm -hmm. And I tell my staff, Mm -hmm. not even fully agreeing, because obedience is not agreement. I don't have to agree with all the details of it to be obedient. I just have to do it. Just let that marinate just for a second, bro. Obedience is not agreement. Thank you, Jesus. Please continue. So I decided to (laughs) obey. (laughs) I went up there and I said, y'all, we're cutting this. We're cutting Christmas. We're cutting that. And they was like, Christmas? It's December 6th. We already have flyers for Christmas. And y'all know if if you go to anybody's church, Christmas is a time where you got like people flying from stuff and you get everybody ice cream sandwiches as they leave. And you're trying to give everybody a present and all this other stuff. And God told us to cut all of it and just have a regular service. No pomp and circumstance and about five other things we cut. And I, and I fully did not have the understanding. And it was almost like God was like, I just wanted to know that you would obey me even if it didn't make sense. That's December 5th or 6th. December like 23rd, this girl posts a, t- a two-minute clip of relationship goals on Twitter. And I didn't even have a Twitter at the time. And two million people watch it in 48 hours. And I'm trying to show you submission and success in, in less than 30 days. It was like God was saying, I just needed to know that when I blow this up, somebody still has the shut up and sit down card. I, I just needed to know, like, you wouldn't let this go to your head and, and somebody could be able to come in and tell you, Mike, do the dishes. 
see episode i mean last episode of last season <laughs> to get that full story like yep. i just needed to know that this platform would not let you be able to get proper perspective yes, from sir. somebody yes sir not just from the bible yep. not just from the holy spirit from a human that god speaks to yeah because a lot of people try to do that what god told me yeah god speaks to a lot of different ways yeah and one of the main ways he speaks is to other people yeah and at that moment we went from literally i have four thousand six hundred instagram followers to two hundred thousand in like 30 days we went from from 1800 youtube subscribers to hundreds of thousands in like weeks every person that i've ever paid to go to their conference and wanted to go to their conference we had 1800 speaking engagement requests here we go another thing about being submitted to authority now watch this this is a different one god told me in prayer michael i'm gonna do something 21 days of prayer in january but i want you to only take two speaking engagements a month for the rest of this year well, I'm sitting there and I'm like, nobody knows that except me and God. But because I'm submitted to authority and accountability, I call Tim and tell him, hey, I don't know why God told me this, but I'm only supposed to take two engagements uh, a month. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know what had happened yet. I just knew we were getting 10,000 followers a day on Instagram and Black Panther had came out around the time. So I thought they mistaken <laughs> me for Michael B. Jordan. Like I didn't, I didn't know that like... <laughs> It was even a thing yet because oh this is just happening. But I told him mm -hmm. so that I could be accountable and submit it even when whatever God was saying happened. And that year we ended up doing less than 12 engagements because we were submitted to the word of God, but we submitted to authority yep. and God brought so much success. And from there, God's done so many different things. But I'm just encouraging people. Uh, I know this is not popular conversation and you would rather hear hear how six secrets to building a successful brand right. but i'm giving you the sauce right this now. is the sauce y'all success is connected to submission that's right if you want to be truly successful and you want god to trust you with all that he already has your name on yep. you gotta have somebody and somebody's around you that's right that you are submitted to because it's for your protection that's exactly right. humans aren't meant to deal with this much of of what men will give you without other people in your life to help remind you yep. of of who you really are. Yep. And that God can use you greatly, but you're still susceptible to make mistakes. Absolutely. And I'm not just submitted to Tim. I'm submitted to my parents. That's I'm submitted right. to my wife. That's right. I'm submitted to my kids. That's right. That's right. Like, like, like people don't think about that. And that's why submission is always crazy because yeah. you think you got to be somebody older, wiser. And it, no, it has to be somebody that has a valuable place in your life. Yep. And my kids, I'm submitted to when I tell them that, hey, daddy's going to come home at a certain time. That's right. And they remind me, hey, daddy, you said you was, I'm, you know what, y'all? Yeah, those are some cute reminders. Woo, that's for very cute. <laughs> Blame they mama, she fine. <laughs> but I, I'm just, I just so value our relationship. And I'm just, I'm grateful that you never took a step back when God did more. You stayed mm -hmm. authentically um, who you are in my life. Yeah. And never for manipulation, never for credit, because that's what it all came back to. Mm -hmm. Like, you've only celebrated yeah. what God has done. And I've never said I told you so. Ever. It, it's because it's not about I told you so. It's literally about obedience. That's it. Like, like it, I mean, if we're going to. I think it's a good place to wrap up because we could literally be talking for four more hours. On Maybe this. I'll come back and do the end of se this season two. Maybe that's my spot yeah. in this. <laughs> the I beginning and the end. And the you're end. the alpha and omega. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna say that because that I'm scared little, of God. I'm yeah, yeah. scared. Ma I, <laughs> matter of fact, never mind. Scratch that whole idea. I'll come back for episode six. I don't know. I don't come I don't back in the middle. Yeah, six the number of man. Oh no 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 seven. <laughs> the Let's number see. of completion. Okay, whichever one. No, hey, so so no, but let me say this because this, this is our secret sauce is submission yes sir uh to to those above us to each other to those around us and i i feel like everyone listening right now to this podcast has the same potential yes sir 
to experience that level of oh success. And I'm, I, I have never been so bold to say what I'm about to say, but I feel this strongly. If you don't have a person to disciple you or mentor you currently, I believe God's going to send you that person yeah. or persons. In the meantime, in between time, this podcast needs to be on lock. I promise you, if you follow me, you will get to Jesus. You ain't going to get to me. You're going to get to Jesus. If you imitate me mm. like I'm trying to imitate Christ, you may not agree with some of the roads I take. You may not agree with my background and theological distinctive, but on principle, yeah, on biblical perspective, you follow this podcast, you will get to Jesus. <laughs> That's all we're trying to point people to. That's it. It's to Jesus. Your world's going to be upset, and then you're going to be able to go represent yeah. to the lost and found. For one reason, transformation, transformation in Christ. In Christ. That's it. Yo, Mike, I love you so much. I love you more I'm than so that, proud of bro. you, and I'm so thankful um, that that our relationship has crescendoed to the point that we get to be in a literal basement now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And allow people to be privy to a decade plus worth of relationship in the dark relationship in the dark and we all know whatever develops in the dark looks better in the light so the greatest part of this is we just getting started that's right i love you so much the man. best is yet to come i love you dude all right love y'all deuces Deuces.